Space is the three-dimensional expanse in which all matter exists. It is often described as a continuum that extends infinitely in all directions. Space has no boundaries or edges, but it is often divided into regions for practical purposes. For example, the universe is often divided into galaxies, which are further divided into stars, planets, and other celestial objects. Space can also be described in terms of distance, such as meters or kilometers. Space can be thought of as the container in which everything in the universe exists. It is vast and infinitely expanding, and everything we know of, from galaxies and stars to planets and asteroids, exists within it. The concept of space as a continuum means that there are no breaks or interruptions in its expanse. It is a continuous field that extends infinitely in all directions. However, for practical purposes, scientists often divide space into smaller regions. For example, the universe can be divided into galaxies, which can be further divided into stars, planets, and other celestial objects. Distance is another way to describe space. We can measure distance in terms of units such as meters or kilometers. For example, the distance between the Earth and the Moon is approximately 384,400 kilometers. If you found this video informative and interesting, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel for more mind-blowing content like this. Your support means a lot to us and it motivates us to keep creating more amazing videos for you. One of the most fascinating aspects of space is its emptiness. Although it contains countless objects, it is mostly empty space. In fact, the emptiness of space is what allows for objects to move and interact with each other without colliding. Time is the measure of the duration of events and the sequence in which they occur. It is often represented as a continuous flow in which events happen one after the other. Time is a fundamental concept in physics and the measure of the duration of events. We use time to describe the sequence in which events occur and to compare the duration of different events. Time is often represented as a continuous flow in which events happen one after the other. The measurement of time is a crucial aspect of scientific study. In physics, time is measured in units such as seconds, minutes, hours, days, and years. These units allow us to quantify the duration of events accurately. However, what is most fascinating about time is its relative nature. Time is not absolute, meaning it can vary depending on the observer's position and motion. This is known as time dilation and is a prediction of the theory of relativity. In essence, time dilation means that time appears to move more slowly for objects that are moving at high speeds relative to an observer. This effect becomes more pronounced as the speed of the object approaches the speed of light. Moreover, the idea of time being relative also applies to the concept of space-time. Space-time is the four-dimensional continuum that combines the three dimensions of space and the one dimension of time. The curvature of space-time is determined by the distribution of matter and energy in the universe. Space and time are not separate entities. Instead, they are closely intertwined in a concept known as space-time. Space-time is a four-dimensional continuum that combines the three dimensions of space and the one dimension of time. The the idea of space-time was first introduced by Albert Einstein in his theory of general relativity. According to this theory, the curvature of space-time is determined by the distribution of matter and energy in the universe. The more matter and energy in a given region of space, the greater the curvature of space-time in that region. This curvature of space-time affects the motion of objects in the universe. Objects in motion will follow a path that is curved by the curvature of space-time. This effect is known as gravity and it explains how objects in the universe move and interact with each other. Moreover, the concept of space-time helps to explain the relative nature of time. In space-time, time is not a separate dimension but is instead integrated with space. The motion of an object through space affects its passage through time, and the curvature of space-time can cause time to appear to move more slowly or quickly depending on the observer's position and motion. The theory of special relativity was also introduced by Albert Einstein and deals with the relationship between space and time in the absence of gravity. Special relativity introduced two fundamental concepts. The speed of light is constant and the laws of physics are the same for all observers in uniform motion. These concepts led to some surprising results, such as time dilation, where time appears to slow down for objects that are moving at high speeds relative to the observer. 
The theory of general relativity extends the principles of special relativity to include gravity. According to general relativity, the presence of matter and energy in space-time causes the curvature of space-time, which in turn determines the path of objects moving in the vicinity of massive objects. This theory has been extensively tested and has been found to be extremely accurate in predicting the behavior of massive objects in space. Our current understanding of space and time is based on the principles of special and general relativity. Relativity. These principles have been tested and found to be accurate in describing the behavior of objects in space. Special relativity describes the behavior of objects in the absence of gravity and introduced the concepts of time dilation and length contraction. General relativity, on the other hand, describes the behavior of objects in the presence of gravity and introduced the concept of the curvature of spacetime. General relativity has been successful in explaining many phenomena, such as the precession of Mercury's orbit, the bending of light around massive objects, and the existence of black holes. However, there are still many open questions about the nature of space and time that current theories cannot answer. For example, the unification of general relativity with quantum mechanics, which describes the behavior of objects at the smallest scales, remains a major challenge in physics. Another open question is the nature of dark matter and dark energy, which make up a significant portion of the universe's mass energy but have not yet been directly detected. The nature of these phenomena remains one of the biggest mysteries in modern physics. In addition, the precise nature of the Big Bang, which is the event that is believed to have given rise to the universe, is still not fully understood. Despite these open questions, the principles of special and general relativity have provided a solid foundation for our current understanding of space and time. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative and interesting, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel for more mind-blowing content like this. Your support means a lot to us and it motivates us to keep creating more amazing videos for you. So, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well to stay updated on our latest uploads. Thank you again for your time and we'll see you in the next video.